Hey, what's up everyone? Another day, another vlog. How are we? It's a uh, bit of a sombre day for me today. Um, <clears throat> bit of a reflection. <sighs> How do you say it? Um, one of the, my great mates that I grew up with, uh, a mentor to me uh, in all things baseball. Um, yeah, one of the guys that taught me a lot about actual the, the game and the background, the gentleman side of baseball. The, yeah, it was there every time when I was a bat boy for my brother's team and the senior team. Um, I'd sit there and just learn off a couple of guys and, one, and Billy Fryer, one of the guys that I used to learn off, who taught me so much, taught me about, um, uh, yeah, about baseball in, in general, stats and, it just had a just had a passion for the game, just an amazing baseball mind as well, just in depth, knew all the rules, just one of those guys that just just yeah, loved it and was just fantastic. Um, he passed away today, so this is sort of tonight is I guess just a, a little bit of remembrance for him and what he did for me. Um, it's a guy that taught me, as I said, he's taught me so much in baseball. Was always there for the club. Um, was always um, happy to answer questions or, or explain things to me when I asked. It wouldn't be one of those guys that you'd ask and just go, "Yeah, whatever, go away, kid." He'd always ask if he if he knew you were passionate about the game, he'd be happy to help you. <clears throat> so yeah, it's very pretty sad day for myself and our club, our baseball club. He's been part of it for many years. Next week's our 50th anniversary, which I've mentioned a couple of times. And unfortunately, he can't make it. So it's going to be a big loss to not have him there. He was the um, he was a club historian. So he's, that's how much he knew about our club. And he knew it all in his head. He didn't have it written down. He'd go and check it. He knew pretty much most things in his head um, to do with the 50 years of history of our club, which is amazing. Amazing thing, he's a life member, um, great ball player, an outfielder, didn't make any errors, <clears throat> fast runner, good solid hitter, uh, didn't hit for power but hit for average, but got on base and would run and hustle, hustle and everything he did, just a fan, fantastic guy, um, yeah, very, very sad loss for myself and a lot of other people, his family included and all his baseball mates that he's grown up with and played with. <clears throat> um, I believe he was the first guy from our club to play for Australia. Um, so that's a pretty big thing as well. Um, played a lot, a lot of time in Adelaide as well. So if there's any Adelaide guys watching that know of him, um, please pass it on to any friends or family you might know of down there that, that would do know Billy from his days in Adelaide. Um, yeah, just a... Yeah, it's very, very hard to lose someone like that, I guess. That's been so instrumental. It's, um, <clears throat> it is like losing a family member. Um, the good things, like, yeah, used to, um, used to, we used to have to get the signs off the fence. We had to put the fence up every, every game. I put all the sponsor signs out and drive the ute. We used to get dragged behind as kids behind the ute on the grass and ski on the grass, so that and, yeah, just times at his house. The rotisserie league, he started a rotisserie league up. In those days, we didn't have internet or even cable TV back in the 80s, early 90s. Uh, in Darwin, we had nothing. So we used to get a USA Today sport once a month from the only news agency in Darwin that used to sell it. Um, they used to get them shipped over and we'd buy that and we'd share it around and go through all the stats and work out our team players and all that and we'd share the paper and all talk about the stats and what's going on in the majors and rada rada and talk about all the greats that we've watched and, and that we love to watch play the game so yeah it was um yeah pretty emotional <clears throat> so yeah Billy it's not a beer but I'm gonna have a glass of red Peace to you, Billy. RIP, buddy. Rest in peace. Thanks for everything.
True Tiger. All the way. Anyway, um, I don't want to dwell on too much, but I had to say something. He's a great mate, so yeah. Let's get into some news. Some Talk about some news. A little bit of something different. We will go back. I'll just get some different music on. Yeah, so into, let's go. Change up the pace. Um, let's go from remembrance into what's happening, what's new. Um, not a lot. I didn't really have much chance to do too much out there. Um, two things I do want to talk about. Uh, the Australian that was killed in Canada not long ago. Well, they just announced on the news today. Uh, they found the two uh, suspects involved with that that had killed the three people. Unfortunately, they looks like they've killed themselves. They burnt out a car and they found their bodies in the bush. Um, and they've been killed, so that's not going to be really good for the family's victims for that. Uh, that's a tragedy. And not knowing answers, I guess, it would make it ten times as worse. Um, that's something you wouldn't imagine on any family, uh, having their kids overseas. I travelled overseas. In, I lived in Europe for eight months, nine months. I travelled all around and I'm sure my mum was worried about me. <laughs> I had to ring every four days, so I can only imagine what these poor families had to go through and for these people to do something like that and then just get out of it easy by killing themselves. It's pretty, pretty piss poor effort. So yeah, at least those people have been found and it's sort of one chapter, so I guess it's time to move on. So yeah, that was sort of a bit of breaking news for us Australians, I had to get that back. Um, and then the only other sort of thing that I noticed is, um, news-wise and probably on the tech side, is the LG has really punched forward with their screens. Um, if you are looking for a new screen for your computer uh, or something to link your laptop to, there's a couple of models that have got a new one millisecond range that they've got out at the moment, so super quick response times. Uh, the fresh rates are reasonably high, not super high, not your top of the range high, but uh, for their prices, they're, they're pretty darn good. I think they're around the 144 hertz, um, and that's a 38 inch screen, and they do a 49 inch screen one as well, which isn't in Australia, of course not, because we get nothing in Australia when it happens. Uh, they've released it in America, and you can buy it, uh, I think it's like $1,800 US, or something like that, around the two grand mark. Um, <clears throat> and hadn't released anything near that size. I don't even think the 38 inch is, is available in Australia yet, so that'll be coming. Um, probably next six months, I guess. Six would be at least six, 12 months behind, I'm assuming. So a couple of really good screens. A uh, few guys that have tested them, I know the 49 inch look really well. This new 38 inch one is more set for the gamers. Uh, tested up against a ROG Asus version. Um, a 34 inch and that's like a two and a half grand screen versus a two grand screen and yeah very very comparable different features a little bit different HDR was a little bit dropped off but um, yeah some good screens out there so definitely something worth looking at um, tomorrow we are going to be me and Jack again today um, my lovely wife is off to work um, so we'll be looking for a bit of adventure, so we'll probably try and, might even try and do a live um, daily chat with you tomorrow when I get Jack out. And, uh, just think of a few different things, options, and get out. Hopefully it's nice and sunny. It was pretty sunny here today in Perth, so yeah, pretty good. Um, and yeah, move on. Only, yeah, what is it, weekends here, so next weekend I'll be back in Darwin. Um, it's going to be tricky with the fishing, the fishing is going to be tricky, there's a lot going on with the 50th, uh, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out to the fishing, I'm going to do my best to fit it in, um, and I'll hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get some stuff done, but um, if not, I'll definitely get you a tour around Darwin, try and get some footage on that for you, and do a bit of a city tour, and places to go and see while I'm there, work something out anyway. Um, other than that, yeah, um, yeah, just a, a pretty quiet day. It's a bit hard to sort of do anything too much. Um, a little bit remorseful and just, I guess, just thinking about it. 
in life and thinking about a good mate and uh, all the things that's happened. So, anyway, we don't want to finish on a bad note. Let's always finish on a good note. It's a good way. Another day, we're trying to move on. We get into the next day. The weekend's here. For you guys that have worked a hard week, have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself. Time to kick back and relax. Have a couple of beers, a couple of sherbies, maybe a nice glass of red, and enjoy your sleep in tomorrow. If you guys are working, sorry about that, um, but um, hope you get a chance to relax on Saturday night. These guys in the States, just about to kick into Friday. I uh, hope your Friday's good, goes fast, and gets you out of there, out of work quick so you can get home and be with your family and friends. And I will see you all tomorrow. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, having lunch, breakfast or dinner, going to bed, coming to work, going home. I'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys.